My name is Laura Ortman. I'm White Mount Apache from East Fork, Arizona. And I've lived here in New York for 21 years working as an artist, musician, and hairstylist. When I was seven years old, my grandma was a violinist and I've always just kind of wanted to be like her. So then I grew up and uh, studied art in school. And then I got into making sculptures and installations and making my own music for these pieces. And then when I moved to New York, I kind of just quit all the art stuff and kept on with the music side. I've played all the way from CBGB's to MoMA, to the Whitney, to Center Pompidou. A lot of it's led me to do more atmospheric kind of situations. So years ago, I put together this all Native American uh, orchestra called the Coast Orchestra. It kind of kicked off a whole wave of collaborations with other indigenous artists and musicians. Some of my inspirations growing up would be my violin teacher. He would just, you know, be like, hey, you gotta really just dig in. And it, and it really taught me how to physically play the violin, like working with pen and paper or a piece of wood, sculpting it. So I guess art and sculpture is one of my biggest inspirations because it's just something you can really just sink your teeth into and actually understand. Because I think once you get your inspiration, there's always something in there you can still keep discovering. So there's nothing totally tactile about that. So I like to kind of experience it physically as an inspiration. You know, I see textures, I see light, I see the rosin come off a string, and that's just like, whoa, I love this. I wouldn't call the music industry an industry. It's just a way of life. And uh, I think if you can just feel like it's something that you can accept and hold under your wing and carry with you wherever you go, then um, it's, it's not work. It's just part of who you are. I'm Laura Ortman and you're watching Digital Drums.